How are you feeling about the hike so far, David? It's nice. It's how, how many marks out of seven would you give it? I'd give it a proper six out of seven. Yeah. Six out of seven from David. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? We've got a situation. <laughs> it's a wasted journey hiking all the way up here. <laughs> ah! It's not possible. Good afternoon and welcome to Albania. More specifically, welcome to Valbona in northern Albania. So I'm here today to start a hike in the morning from this town, Valbona, to another town called Theth, which is going to take around seven hours, we think, to hike. But it's taken us, I think, longer than that to get here today. So I started in the town of Skoda this morning and we took a minibus to Lake Kamani. It took us around two and a half hours to get there. And then we needed to cross the lake on a ferry, which took another two and a half hours. And then when we got off the ferry, we needed to take another bus, which took another one and a half hours. And then we arrived at our hostel. So since arriving, we've just been checking out this place. We had some lunch and went for a dip in the <laughs> very, very cold it's river. Better, it's getting better. This is like an ice bath. It is, yeah. It is like... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's not possible. <laughs> and this whole process, by the way, just in case you are thinking of doing the hike from Valbona to Theth or Theth to Valbona, because you can do it either way, you can book the transport through your accommodation in Skoda or Theth if you're already staying there anyway. And they'll arrange the bus, the ferry, and the second bus at the other end. Hopefully the long journey to get here has been worth it. I've been told it is worth it. The views are meant to be spectacular. So we're going to crack on with that in the morning. We've not decided what time we're starting yet, but it's going to be quite early, I think. So I'll see you all in the morning and I'll take you along for the journey. See ya. Good morning. We're now on the trail. We've just been dropped off by the minibus that took us from our accommodation to the start of the hike. Like in school, sitting in the back. Yeah. Oh, the naughty boys in the yeah, back. Yeah. Right. We'll sit in the middle. <laughs> it was around a half an hour journey. It was 30 euros, but it split between seven of us. So, not too bad. So, we started immediately with the uphill which I'll explain why I'm out of breath already but the views, the surrounding area is amazing so I can't wait to see what it looks like when we get going a bit further I'm just here mingling with the sheep hello just stay there, oh no he's pushing in Oh, I'm stuck behind the sheep. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? We've got a situation. I'll go up and over. <laughs> Thank you. So showing Theft has been four hours away. It's ten to nine. We'll see what time we arrive. Look at this. How are you feeling about the hike so far, David? It's nice. It's how, how many marks out of seven would you give it? I'd give it a proper six out of seven. Yeah. Six out of seven from David? Yeah. I'd say, yeah. I'd probably agree. 
Everybody's just trying to get to the top. few peanut butter and jam sandwiches and now we're making a slippery slidey way back down this section and then we'll carry on in the way of theft it's get, starting to get quite busy up there now more and more people arriving it's currently 20 to 11 and the views have been banging absolutely amazing and a little bonus when we get to Theth, apparently there is a waterfall that we can hike to that's not too far, just a short hike from like uh, where the hostel will be and we'll be able to have a swim in there so really really looking forward to that right now So we stopped at a little cafe there to refill our bottles and regroup. We're all back together again now. But I stopped for so long I started to get chilly so I've had to put on a jumper that I borrowed off Jan. But now we're back together and we're setting off for the rest of the downhill section. Okay, we're just going to have another quick pit stop at this cafe but we're not welcome apparently because <laughs> we're not we're not paying guests we're not allowed to sit down and mess our legs so we're going to carry on we've got no choice but to carry on <laughs> so apparently that little segment that i just filmed really angered the lady she started kicking off telling me i'm not allowed to film even though i was filming myself not her or her property but she was very very angry Okay, we arrived in Theth uh, about 1.30 but we decided to carry on further and go to a waterfall. We're close to the waterfall but I'm now currently on the world's most unsteady stepping stones. Made it. <laughs> waterfall. Oh my god. Oh, there's a steep climb at the end. And I don't care how cold the water is. I'm going in. Oh wow, it's cold. Yeah, it's about as cold as the river yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> but after seven hours of hiking, I'm going for it. Woo! Woo! Your head didn't go in. Okay, so apparently my head didn't go in, so it doesn't count. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone's pretty exhausted now. We're just making our way to our respective hostels because we're not all staying at the same one. I think it's maybe about an hour's walk. We've got to walk up past this river, then across the other side, and then a bit further on. So, still a bit of a way to go yet. It's currently 3:45, so it's going to be a long day. So our hostel is quite a way from the town I think we must have been hiking 45 minutes I've had enough now it's 4.30 and I'm just ready to take the bag off and lay down and chill for a bit but we've got an added problem that we're not exactly sure how to get to the hostel it seems to 
Google Maps shows us to go a way that's not a way, so we're just walking. I'm not sure where we're going. So apparently this is the way, according to a lady, this is the way to our hostel. In the middle of the woods, far from the main road. I mean, it's what kind of hostel it has this as the direction to go? <laughs> I'm lost for words. It's been a long day. It's nearly five o'clock and we're in the middle of the woods. Absolutely ridiculous. And we found it! Oh my god! <laughs> Jan went in to ask for directions and this is the place. So after finally, finally arriving at this amazing hostel with this amazing view, it turns out booking.com have made a mistake for the second time in a row for this hostel and we no longer have a room. So <laughs> it's a wasted journey hiking all the way up here. But the owner is very nice and he's very kindly arranged another room in the centre of town where we were like two hours ago. <laughs> so he's going to give us a ride in his car. We're going to stay there, we're going to get food and it's close to the bus tomorrow to get back to Skoda. So, <laughs> so nothing of this can walk. So we've now arrived at the place where we are actually staying and it's very very nice and I'm glad we're here and I just want to rest, eat and rest and have a shower and then tomorrow morning we have to get the bus, I think it's at 11 o'clock to go back to Skoda because the bulk of our things are still there so we've just carried like what we needed and the rest of our stuff is at the old hostel in Skoda so we need to go back there, collect our things and then I think I'll be leaving Albania tomorrow and taking a bus at night to somewhere new.